Hello guys, welcome. Today in this video tutorial, we will learn how to connect to PostgreSQL in C Sharp Visual Studio 2022. So let's start. First, we will go to Visual Studio. We will create a new project. Window Form app, click Next. And I will name this uh, DB Con Demo. And now click Next and Create to create the project. So now the project is created. So first, we need a dependency uh, for this project. So I'll right click on this project and manage the new get packages. I'll go to this browse and here we will search for npg SQL. This is the dependency for PostgreSQL to connect to C Sharp Visual Studio. So this uh, first package, we will select this, click on install, apply, and now you can see a green tick right here. So it means it is installed. If I go to this install tab, remove this. Now you can see it here in the install tab. So now I'll close this. I'll go to toolbox and uh, drag in a data grid view. I'll expand it a bit. Now I'll go to toolbox again and here I will search for button and I will drag in this button as well. Now I'll change the name and the text of this button. So I'll name this git data btn. Now we will go down and here we change the text on this. Now we'll double click on this to create its click event. Now its click event is created. So now we are okay here. So I'll go here and uh, open EGMN for so this is the dashboard or the admin GUI for PostgreSQL. Now it is open. So I'll go to this server, expand this. So you can see here we have a test DB here. And in this test DB, if I go down, we have tables. Let me maximize this. We have one table which is demo, and we have these columns inside this ID, name, and if name. And now, if I select top 100 rows, you can see that we have these four records. We will connect to this post grievous cable, retrieve this data, and show it in that grid view. Again, go to this uh, Visual Studio 2022, and here we will write our code. So, first, we need our connection strength. Use string on the so first, it takes the server as we are using local installation. So, we will use use local host semicolon then it takes the user id for user id we will go here again to pg admin 4 and uh, i'll go to this server and uh, we'll go to properties and connection and this is our user so i'll copy this and i'll paste it here then it takes the password so i'll use password for me it is admin and you will use your own password and then it takes the database and database which is test db at the end i'll put a semicolon so now our connection string is created we will create the connection so for that i will use npg sql connection con equals new npg sql connection and we will pass in the con string here i'll put semicolon at the end now i will import this now we will open the connection on dot open semicolon now we will create our query string query equals we will uh, copy the query from our pg admin so i'll uh, close this i'll come to this table right click on this script select and i will copy this and i'll go again here and i will paste it right here inside double quotes and now i'll put semicolon at the end our query is created so we will create our command so npg scale command cmd equals new npg scale command and it takes a query and it takes the connection and now semicolon now we will create our reader data reader reader equals cmd dot execute reader and semicolon as this cmd execute it will read all data into this reader now we will get the data from this reader into a data table so i'll create a data table we will we have load all the data into into this uh, data table and now we will use this data table as a, a data source to our grid view so data grid view one dot data source equals dt semicolon now our code is complete let's run this project and let's see if it is working so now if i run this project and now if i click on this get data so now you can see all the data is uh, fetched from that table and shown in this data grid view so in this way you can connect to postgreSQL and visual studio c sharp so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you